Hello, goodie pies. Yeah, hello. Can you say happy day? Can you say happy day? It's a happy day, friends. Today's gonna be a big day for you. You're gonna go to your two month appointment. Yeah. yeah. And dad's not allowed to go. So mom's gonna take you. Yeah. 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 I know. Do you know what they're gonna do there? Yeah. Okay, I won't surprise you. But it's gonna be a awesome time for a while. Yeah. So you're gonna handle it like a boss for mom, huh? Yeah. Is that sounding like a big day? Yeah, is that sounding like a big day to you? I don't blame you. That's a big day for you. Good morning. Hi, Hi sweetie. Baby. You have a baby. You found your other baby. How sweet. Here, you hold this baby. I have to go. I just wanted to say bye real quick. She's clearly having a good time in here. La la. La la koala? La la the koala? Yeah. Yeah, you love that guy, huh? Okay, I gotta go take care of your sister and go. Bye, love you. Like Dad said, it's gonna be fun for a while and then it's not. But we'll have fun later. You just sleep until until you need to wake up. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> Eleven six. Oh, hi. Hi, Gooby. She was definitely wailing. Um, she did not like her shots. But as soon as I picked her up, she stopped crying, which made me feel like, oh, you love me. I'm comforting you. It made me feel really good. Um, so she's just kind of been on and off. I nursed her, and that helped a lot. But she's just kind of on and off, a little fussy. Um, and she might be like that the rest of the day, but everything looks good. Doctor says if she's sleeping through the night, like don't, don't make her sleep through the night, but if she does on her own, then that's great. <gasps> Hi, Camille. Hi, Stella. How are you? Oh, good. How are you doing? How did Paige do? She did really good. <laughs> You're all over the place today. Who's that? Who's that guy? Miss. While we were eating breakfast, she looks at me and goes, football. Really? Yeah. And I'm like, you want to watch football? She goes, yeah. Oh my gosh. So I was like, you love football, girl? I'm like, all right. I put it on and she's been screaming like, go, go, go. <laughs> and like running around the house. It's been adorable. Are you being a little football player today? You running around doing your spring training? Well, you guys, you guys all may have thought I was crazy a few years ago when she was just a few months old and she was glued, she was glued to, to watching football. She didn't care about the commercials, just the football. She, everyone thought it was coincidence, like football would come on and she'd be all about it. And then commercials would come on and she didn't care. Didn't care. But you truly do love football. She really does. It's like, so it's funny. The wildest thing. Okay, so how much do you think Paige weighed? 10 4. 10 4, okay. And for her height, what did she measure last? I don't remember. <laughs> Shoot. Let's see, she, how tall was she when she was born? 18, I think. 18, so I'll do 24. She's 22 inches. Ah, okay. <laughs> and wait, what did you guess? 10 4. 11.6. Whoa! I was going to say 12 pounds. I was like, there's no way that she weighs 12. I was like way off with Micah. I thought for some reason she had a huge head, but their percentages are really, really close to each other. The only thing that's different between them, Micah was one ounce bigger than Paige. So really they're, they're really pretty identical. I thought maybe you'd sleep again, but I'm going to cuddle you. I'm gonna cuddle you. Dad's gonna cuddle you, make you feel better. And what do you wanna do, Micah? Play, can we play? No. Oh, <laughs> that's sad. I really didn't expect you to say no so suddenly. I didn't expect you to say no at all. 
Okay, then you can help me with laundry because hey, we have a lot of laundry to catch up on. Look at you getting dressed. Peekaboo. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You're so goofy. I love ya. Love ya, silly girl. Let's do some laundry. So Paige had her appointment today and Austin is going to take Maple to her appointment in about an hour. So the past, like, almost four weeks have been really great. We thought we finally figured out what was going on with Maple. She got that cytopoint shot and it seemed to really help her. And it still seems to be helping her, but a few days ago, her one ear that always gives us problems got extremely inflamed and swollen. This happened, I wanna say yesterday. And so we made an appointment for today. She's gonna to go in, get it looked at, but I don't know what it is. Um, it, there's also like a, a rough patch on her head. And also we noticed a little bump forming on her ear and it seems to have come on very pretty quickly. Let me see your head. Let me see this. So there's, there's this rough patch on her head. It really doesn't seem to bother her at all, but her ear definitely bothers her. No, 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 no shaking. No shaking, we're gonna get you looked at. We are going to be starting a GoFundMe page. No, we are not. <laughs> no, we are not. I'm just hoping that it's not any sort of cancer we need to be concerned about. That's really my hope. That's okay. So I'm just trying to, like, when do they typically get the Hep A shot? Okay. Um, all right. Yeah, that's my only concern. Okay, and then what are some of the typical symptoms that they might experience with the Hep A so that I can just, I guess, be aware? I don't know, nothing, okay. Okay, well, I appreciate you calling and letting me know. Yeah, of course, that's all right. Mistakes happen, okay. Okay, thank you. You could tell he was like mad. Really? That that happened. Well, tell me about it. What happened? Apparently, they gave her the hepatitis A vaccine instead of the hepatitis B. And they typically don't get that until 12 months. Really? Not at two months. Oh, dang. So he said that with the hepatitis A vaccine that they accidentally gave her, um, they typically don't see any sort of reaction from it anyways, which is good, mm -hmm. but. Scary. Uh, yeah, scary. That's like, it's scary because like, I'm, I'm, we're obviously very thankful that it's not a, like, Something that could be more severe. Yeah, but, but still. that's absolutely terrifying that you so, put your kids life in the hands of someone who could be they had a fill-in medical assistant <laughs> fill-in medical assistant and, yeah but yeah she made a mistake that's a big no-no hey sweetie pie boop boop how are you how are you doing you seem like you're good you seem like you're good we're gonna keep an extra 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 close eye on you i'm still kind of like processing what happened and it sucks because I don't know I don't know what effects it could have on her you know what I mean like I'm just I'm really pretty upset about it you know as any parent would be <sighs> but you seem like you're in good spirits you seem like you're doing good did you find your hand are you looking at your wrist and your arm what is that thing? What is that thing there? What is that thing? So I just looked up exactly what hepatitis A is. Um, it is a liver infection. Well, hepatitis A causes, it is a liver infection, it causes a liver infection, something like that. Um, and so I'm just gonna keep an eye out for any sort of, you know, anything weird, of course, anything weird that she's doing, I'm going to call the doctor. I'm going to be on top of it, especially given the circumstances that just happened. Um, but if she starts having any, you know, liver failure can, you, you know, it can cause, I'm so flustered right now, you guys. Liver 
infection, liver failure. Some of the symptoms are abdominal pain, um, yellowing of the eyes and skin, so jaundice, fatigue, nausea, loss of appetite, low-grade fever, all things that can be caused by uh, vaccines anyways. So, stupid. So stupid, I'm like... I'm just like blown away, you know what I mean? I am in disbelief right now. I know mistakes happen, that's, that's a thing, mistakes happen. And it's unfortunate, but you don't ever really think about them happening to you. Okay, Austin though, Austin took maple, so hopefully we get good news there. Can't, I can't do any more crazy bad news today. You wanna hold the camera? Yeah. Okay, be real careful. I'm Fred. Hi, Fred. <laughs> I'm Fred. Oh my gosh, you're so funny. Don't touch that part. Okay, let me let me hold it now. So she's wearing one of my old maternity dresses, and I think it's really cute on her. Obviously, huge. But I'm almost wondering if my mom can like repurpose it into a little dress for her. That would be really cute. And you know what, guys? There is probably plenty that she might be able to make one for you and Paige. Or maybe a dress for you and maybe a little, a little shirt for your sister. Bittersweet news about Maple, I guess. I, you know, right? Bittersweet. Yeah. It's not fantastic news, but it's not like worst case scenario. The little bump on her ear. Um, let me see if I can show you guys. Uh, no, I'm not even gonna try. She doesn't. She doesn't want to be touched. I don't blame her. Um, the little bump on her ear is benign, so it's not a concern. That's great news. As far as the whatever's going on with her ear, it looks like it is another infection, um, yeast and bacterial. They did a, a scrape test or whatever to figure out what exactly it was because it keeps coming back. Um, they wanted to make sure it wasn't mites or some other sort of bug. The day is trending upwards and I've, I've really been letting like the whole thing with Paige soak in and, and just kind of like see how I feel about it. And I'm trying to not be mad. I feel like being mad about it is not gonna get anybody anywhere. Um, but so my, my, biggest, my biggest concern and my biggest feeling I guess is just being concerned and keeping Keeping an eye on her, making sure it's, you know, nothing's gonna happen to her. Um, like I said, Hep A is a liver thing, so we'll just have to keep an eye out for any signs. But I mean, doctor said he doesn't think anything should negatively impact her in any way. Um, so we'll just keep our fingers crossed and and just really keep an eye on it. It is crazy though. It's crazy that. That, that kind of switch up can happen. It makes you wonder like what other kind of things happen that they don't catch, but um, I really am grateful that they did catch the mistake, but more so that they contacted us about it because that's something that, you know, if they wanted to, somebody could have easily just never said anything and we would have never known, but they, they caught the mistake, they called us, they made sure that we were aware of it and, and were very upfront about everything. So so I am very grateful for that. And other than a little bit of fussiness, she's really just pretty normal today. She's just doing just really good, really happy smiley. You're still real happy smiley, huh? You're still happy smiley. Yes. Yeah, she's smiling, Micah. You wanna say hi? She's smiling at you. She's gonna smile at you. I'm really eager to get out of this house and get to the yeah, mountains. And with gonna... Micah's bedtime in a few hours, we don't have much time. So we're gonna get going gonna on get a small going. family adventure. Yeah. Are we taking the vlog or just us? I mean, just, let's just go and relax. Yeah. That's, so We wanna go to the mountains and relax and have yeah. fun and spend time together as a family. Yeah, so that being said, I am gonna sign out of the vlog right now. We've, we've had a day. <laughs> As you guys can see, we had a lot going on. A lot of unexpected things happen um, that kind of took a little bit of a mental toll. So we're just gonna go relax, not worry about anything other than spending time with each other. So we hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Um, we'll update you guys, of course, as things progress with um, all three of them, Micah, Paige, and Maple, and Stella as well. She's doing great today, but, but we'll just we'll keep you guys updated. Hope you have a wonderful week ahead of you, and we'll see you guys next time.